Good evening, viewers. Welcome to your number one health show, Health Zone, on Bina TV. Our topic for discussion this evening is osteoarthritis. And I have with me in the house Mr. Mizbah Samir. He's a physiotherapist and he's the CEO of City Physiotherapy and Rehab Center at Kaswa. Welcome, Mr. Thank you so Mizbah. Much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Without much um, digression into other areas, let's go straight to the point. What is osteoarthritis? Okay. So, in simple terms, um, osteoarthritis, um, the name osteoarthritis um, is actually the changes that usually occur at joints. So, we say osteoarthritis usually occurs at joints. It occurs at different joints uh, in, in our body. So, to give a, like a picture like an explanation of what it is. You see, our joints are made up of what, uh, the, the surface of our joints are made up of soft materials. Okay. You know, so when those soft materials get worn out, you know, and there is, there, there is growth of spurs. When I say spurs, like, okay, okay, spurs, I don't know any other word I can use to describe what spurs are. <laughs> but of course, the joint surfaces are worn out yes. and there's spurs formation. Then at different joints of our body, then we can see we have osteoarthritis. Okay. So let me just um, also give a bit of a, an explanation of what a spurs looks like or okay. a roughening of the surfaces of our joint. So for example, you have a smooth skin, mm -hmm. okay, and the skin gets injured and it tries to heal there is a scar formation so you know the scar formation on the skin is not as smooth as the as the skin oh, yeah. so in the joint also when there is wear and tear and the fine uh, joint cartilages are worn out the so bone also the tries to heal so in the process of heal those spurs formation those spurs actually get to form so, so it roughens up not being too smooth exactly that supposed to be exactly so okay. then it roughens the surfaces of what of that joint yeah okay. so that, that's that's in simple term what osteoarthritis is yes okay are there different types or it's just a straight thing that does it affect different areas of the body okay so um osteoarthritis usually occurs at joints of the body so it it occurs at different areas of the body so it can it can happen in the, in of the, the knee, joints in the knee in the hips and even in your spine so for example if it happens in the knee we call it knee osteoarthritis okay. if it happens in the hip joint hip osteoarthritis if 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 it happens in the in the spine it's also it's, it's a spinal osteoarthritis okay. but also there's another name uh, that they, they call it they call maybe like spondylosis like you know yeah. but, but it's a form of osteoarthritis okay. uh, as well so it occurs in fact you can have what uh, shoulder joint like osteoarthritis so it, it usually occurs at various joints of the body especially the joints that usually is under a lot of pressure and there's a lot of movement in those joints yes oh, okay so tell us what causes what causes osteoarthritis yes so the the main culprits or the cause of osteoarthritis will definitely be wear and tear you know there will be a lot of wear and tear but then the question is what will cause the wear and tear you get what i'm saying so let me give one example um if uh, somebody is let's say obese okay and the you see if you are obese a lot of one part of your body that actually carries a lot of the weight is your knee so if your weight is too much and there's so much pressure for example on your knee and you have such that and the muscles of your legs are not strong enough you have the joint actually getting to rub against uh, what you call it each other then there's wear and tear in the knee then you have uh, what you call it a knee osteoarthritis or it can also happen in the hip 
but it also happens in joints that has a lot of repetitive, what you call it, uh, activity. Or, for example, you might even have a tear in your in your ligaments, let's say in the knee, such that the the joint is now not aligned properly. So, therefore, if it's not aligned properly, just for example, you have a car tire, and your car tire is not aligned properly. If it's not aligned properly, you hear, see that one part of the car tire will actually you know be, be worn out yeah. for example another example of what even can cause is that when you don't even wear good shoes you know some people's legs are like kept like you know like they are even, either what we call genu virus or genu virum so they tend to step on the outer part of what they are shoes and that part of the shoe gets worn out wear, wear, worn out yeah. and they keep wearing it for a very long time so if you keep that means you are, you are not shape. exactly you will not balance at your knee not balance at your hip. Well, if you keep wearing it. If you keep wearing it for state. a very long period yeah. of time. So you have one part of the surface rubbing more than the other. Yeah. So that can be one of the things that can actually cause uh, what you call it. Osteoarthritis. Like yes. Sometimes also it might also happen that it's idiopathic. Maybe sometimes also old age. As you grow older, you know, so so many things actually can, yeah, what you call it, can cause, uh, you know, or sometimes weakening of, of your muscles, lack of physical activities, you know, all of these things can be contributing factors, things that can actually cause osteoarthritis. osteoarthritis. <laughs> Just a more physiotherapist in a um, CEO of City Physiotherapy and Rehab Center, then a casua, wouldn't they? Yaki, not a bishop, one abune osteoarthritis. She need yet simplifying. She had a cache, the chicken casu suamu. I should let you take this. Yeah, yeah, I should let you take this. All right, she's a uh, um. And that was bad explanation. Chicken, yes, when she house her, I got you the osteoarthritis, osteoarthritis. They so they are in a far watch chicken joints, chicken joints, joints in the key, chicken different part of body. Uh, can someone at the joint day or one of the knee joints, we want a key no cool, one of the hip joints, hip like a chicken scouser. Hip joints. One of the joints chicken as soon as she spine. One of the joints chicken as soon as she spine. Kashim Bayakin. So I'm one of the joints Kumachkin shoulder. Now, make a cause osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis in our cause in the joint in the years of your father wear and tear. I got you wear and tear in our chicken and cool. Back in years when she joined in the Nazi, all I hear is that joint in the Kashini, I'm a back in she na akwana bana chi my cartilage, cartilage na kuma soft material. She sa inde by some means in that I so joint in the Jesus because so na rub against each other, inde abude na rub against each other, all me see a chiku. So na go get you na, so na go get you na, so na go get you na, so na go get you na. Soon about a June again. She said she is we of she soft material in the Yazoo of Ta. She is Sora, Yasuna, Casusuan, no Kumala, I shall come on. Joint in the Aqua way in ten, she may not try your heel itself, your work can she. But in bad example, come on, Canada, skin, skin, fat and jikin cool. Fat and jinka smooth me. Ama wana biazo ya ya jima chiu ko. Tambo ya yiko. Untambo ye nanka gani kama. Tambo na biza mantu kabiza makama original skin. She that because her body is trying to ina try a heal can she? The ina try heal can she? The healed part na is not as the original what you call skin. She's the same thing. They acquire wear and tear chicken joint in na. Joint in Nokmana try your heel, can she share a form with the bone growth? Chicken to rinse on a can she spares, spares in she can buy surface in joint in the year rough, the year rough, and she can keep chain my osteoarthritis. When then I have a watch king knee, then I have a watch king hips, then I have a watch king shoulder. Yes, it's not a baby. Then I need a bunch of bunch of she a bam example and they keep for the one. Then I have a watch king grew on. Yes. 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 Y
kashin baya ina shike cikin okay shi na tambaye shi kuma abubuwan da ke bar wannan ya faru exactly ya shi yasa wani ya tambaye make cause where and ten nan where and ten abubuwa dai wala ya faru shi yasa for example in dai wani na da weight weighting shi ina ya ina da kiba kiba kana da kiba kuma nan inda ke samun pressure inda kana da kiba shi ne cikin ninka for example shi yasa in dai akwai pressure kan ni ina bari monday eh na mun jikin ka bi da karfi yana bari surface nan yayi close in yayi close nan shi bari joint nan su fara goga kan juna shi yasa goga wannan shi bari bakin ya ci bari in baka example kana da lori kana kana da lori tie in lori ka wani ya baka da alignment cikin tie in lori ka after some time aga kaman part of the tie na eh ya ci on this same issue of alignment you know for example that chick abubuwa dai wala ya course and at one one point one one she ne wait the other point ne maybe wouldn't even sa shoe for example kaga wani ya sa shoe ya sa shoe te kaga shoe na wani wuri ya ci ya fi guda har me shi na ita tafiya da shi she be bad joint na ya zauna yanda ya kamata kaga one part of the joint na na chi ya fi da ada don yanda takalmi yake don yanda takalmi yake she sa wannan ma yayi course for you to have also try to tell me ta kan mi ta kan mi ya fara ci ya kwata mu duba mu safe kinta yana kawo masala yana kawo masala ka fara sa ta kalmi in ta kalmi ya fara ci especially in ya ci ba alignment cikin ba yanda yake sai ke karkace ya kamata ka sa ya karkace ka mu kai mutum kuma ya kuma baka ya yi karkace ya karkace na karkace na ya yi affect knee ka ya yi affect hip ka ya yi affect even spine ka she so sometimes kind of knee pain baka san make it cause what killer ta kan mi da kake sa wani thank you mun gode correct correct what are the signs and symptoms okay what the symptoms of osteoarthritis yeah. how would i know if um, i have osteoarthritis okay she sa in the inde ya sune shi okay so so the signs and symptoms of osteoarthritis first of all one of the obvious sign is the pain mm -hmm. you know ka ji kamar wurin na ciwo the sign and secondly kuma banda ciwo no kuma ka gani eh oh we i go back to this yeah. right you <laughs> obviously you have pain yes then besides pain there will also be a limit limitation in the range of motion of that particular joint when i say limitation in the range of motion that means that joint is not moving either you can move it little or you cannot move it like fully okay. maybe you used to bend your knee fully now you cannot be able to bend your knee yeah. fully then difficulty less in walking in the case of what you call it uh, uh, at the knee sometimes also you might experience some swelling what okay. you what you call it over there you might experience some inflammation sometimes my the place might even be warm over there warm to warm to, to, touch. to touch you know so so many so many those are some of the signs and symptoms that you can actually but the chief among the signs and symptoms is is pain okay. that you experience when you have your strike right oh, okay. it's a so limitation in in function okay. Da mana tambaya okay mu yi batun ya buti won ka susuwan ga isa na tambaye shi yanzu ya mutun zai ya gani kaman in wani abu na mai ya ga kaman irin wan ga ciwo osteoarthritis nga shine idan mu ya kana ai kana na wasu abubuwa na hafi cikin gargan jikin ka in kai ya ka san irin abubuwan um symptoms nda zai ya gwada maka ko shine maybe tun ma baka kai hospital ba kai ya ka samu idea kaman ga abin da ke cause wai na farko ni pain ka ji gurin na ciwo in cikin guyuwan ne o in cikin kunkurun ne o in cikin kashin bayan ne o pain wai limitation of movement don cici ciwo nan da yanda yake na yasa do and the way and the bones nan da suka cici na yasa sai ka zo yanda kake use gurin nan ba kai ka use gurin nan yanda ya kamata maybe da kana ya ka suguna har kasa ba kai ka suguna shi ka zo ba kai ka suguna ka je har kasa don maybe cikin guyuwan ya ci haka nan no kuma cikin kunkuru haka nan no kuma cikin kashin baya wai swelling akwai kumburi kumburi sai ka ka zauna kana kana ji cikin em guyuwan ka na ciwo kuma ya kumbura wai osteoarthritis na yi ya cause wannan kuma wani bi kuma cikin joints kuma shi ya yi zafi ka taba kana jin warm energy look at signs and symptoms in your fire e but when it be you know here muna then we take it like perhaps is tiredness so dewa 
when these things start happening to us, we take it as tired as we will oh, because I walked a long mile, but I, I walked for, for a long time. So perhaps that is what is happening. But maybe by Akanam, but you might be developing a certain condition and you would have to go for a checkup or something. So which just, people just, just to add one point also. You know, it can also you can have stiffness of the of the joint as well. Okay. You know, and also of course tenderness. When I say tenderness, is of course almost like pain. You can when you touch even the place, you can actually have. That's the, the two I wanted to just add. Oh, okay, yeah. so which people are predisposed to getting osteoarthritis? Uh, people who are predisposed, I mean, everybody is at risk, especially for adults, mostly. Um, but, of course, number one is old age, okay? Number two is people who are sedentary, who are, don't do a lot of physical activity, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. or people who overdo physical activity mm -hmm. either you don't do it or you overdo what you call it uh, 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 physical activity mm -hmm. people who are obese you know people who are obese people who do certain kinds of jobs okay. that are repetitive you know mm -hmm. for example footballers after some especially getting to their retirement mm -hmm. they experience arthritis of the knee because soon I use knees a lot maybe getting to their retirement time one day for example working involves a lot of what standing like you know so those people can actually be predisposed when of fact be sir be as soon as she said the appropriate ways like the correct types of yeah. what you call it uh, shoes sometimes also some some of them also like can you can it can be idiopathic Sometimes machine and machine na na my job be sabin da make it cause yeah. yes. Some some people may may also be a genetic thing, you know, might might follow them exactly. Yeah. Okay, so is there a difference between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis? Okay. okay. Because it it all has arthritis in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, okay. a lot of people find it difficult to tell to tell the, the difference between yeah, the two. Yeah. So the, the differences between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis is that osteoarthritis is caused by wear and tear, simple as that. But then for rheumatoid arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis is caused by your own immune system. Your own immune system. You know, the immune system is there to protect you. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when there is a malfunction in the way the immune system works, yeah. you can have your own immune system attacking Attack. your joint cartilages. Wow. So when the immune system attacks the joint cartilages, it actually causes inflammation. So in, other, in other words, it's just like your body attacking your body. It's literally like your body attacking your, your body yeah. and causes a lot of inflammation and causes all these things, pain, swelling. In fact, but one, one main um, characteristic of also um, rheumatoid arthritis, the rheumatoid arthritis can affect multiple joints so for example at the can, same time, the same time. Wow. so you might not have it so somebody can have knee or to start it to just be the only the knee one knee or one hip okay or exactly but for rheumatoid arthritis you might actually have it both hands okay. you know or both shoulders or both knees you know so you can have multiple joints actually being affected because it's a systemic thing and you have the immune system actually attacking the various what you call it cartilaginous surfaces of the joint yes so that is the difference so rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease mm -hmm. autoimmune condition whilst uh, osteoarthritis is literally is, is basically a wear and tear uh, okay. issue yes how do you normally diagnose it okay so to diagnose um, um, osteoarthritis of, of course the main thing to do is just to do like like it's a scan like uh, an x-ray scan so you just do an x-ray an x-ray will give you a picture of what it looks like the bone looks like the surfaces of so you look at the line of the of the joint to see okay is this uh, 
uh, are there spares for machines it's a joint space okay you know so an x-ray is one of the like basic uh, diagnostic tool that we can use. Sometimes people will go for an MRI and other to have a, a deeper look at what is there. But the basic one is just the the, 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 okay. the X-rays. So that is how you get to, you get the real picture. The real picture. Of what is hap actually happening? Happiness. Is. But sometimes the also they may make you go and do some blood works to check your blood and other things to see to rule out if it's not what they call it, rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. So the purpose so of those ones is just sure, to rule out they are sure that it is this, this and not any and other. Not any any so that's, that's the basic. Of course, if your physical examination and the questioning by the doctor, oh. then it allows oh, the really? doctor or the therapist to arrive at what is really causing the pain or the presenting complaint that you bring to them. Okay, the so doctor. when the diagnosis is arrived at, mm -hmm. what is generally the line of treatment for osteoarthritis? Okay, so for, there's so many things you can do uh, for the quality to treat. That's right. I, I might say that we mostly, it depends also so the stages of us, because osteoarthritis is classified from zero, you know, is the, the various stages from zero to four. So zero is in your normal state. This four is the most severe state. Okay. So your treatment will actually be based on where you stand, whether you are one or two or three. You know, so four is like more the severest. But the line of treatment, of course, will include pain medication like NSAIDs, okay. like you take or, or over the counter medications that you can be able to go and get at a drugstore. Okay. So if let's say yours is mild and you just go and take some pain medication and it goes, that is fine and you are okay with that then that is fine but for some people they will take the pain medication the pain medication will help them for a while for a few hours but after the medication is out of it their system it the wears off then the pain comes back again so that means it's a bit more uh, uh severe so you need medical attention exactly you need medical so that is where you have to let's see um now start making sure that you see a specialist or a, a doctor or a therapist to make sure that to really find out what is really wrong because one thing i always tell people we're going to be so dependent on medication that without medication there's nothing you can do yeah. you have to take the medication in order to survive that's that you don't have to get yourself to that stage and once you get to that don't stay and be self-medicating when it comes to issues like that. So the other treatment, line of treatment to include a lot of uh, physical therapy, mm -hmm. a lot of range of motion. We can use heat therapy, we can use cold therapy, we can use acupuncture, mm -hmm. you know. We can use um, so many, uh, what you call it, techniques to be able to, what you call it, manage it. So it depends on the stage. When it's the severe stage, there's nothing that you can do but to manage it and you can't cure it. But maybe if it's not so severe, you can actually do something that you can actually be able to completely take care of it. And on the treatment as well, the last end of, of it, I mean, in terms of the very severe types, is for you to, for example, do surgery, for example, okay. to do a knee replacement. Okay. Because where, let's say, the surface of the joint is so bad to the extent that there's nothing you can do about it. The only thing is just to replace the knee joint. Replace means to remove the knee and put artificial over there. Wow, yes. that's the extreme. Yes. But are there any home remedies yes. for this condition? Yes, for osteoarthritis, you see, mm. sometimes also you can be able to try a few home remedies by yourself at home. So when I say a few home remedies, you can get some, go and get some rub. If then you can you can massage the area or, or by aboniki. yourself or a <laughs> or you, exactly you <laughs> massage the area. so for some people when they do it it goes away okay that means it's not, it's not severe, severe for yeah. some people they do that and it doesn't go away that means your body is telling you that you are not the doctor yeah, go and see the doctor wrong. Go, there's go something much the more professional. go and see the professional <laughs> to what to help you sometimes also you can do you can do your own like you know put a towel in, in warm water and put around it to get some heat into the joint okay. some people too, when they do that it helps as well and there are a few exercises strengthening exercises that you can be able to do I say exercise I don't mean go and jog but you can sit down your exercises and actually stretch your leg extend your leg do that and sometimes it can so those are some of the home remedies that you can actually be able to what, what they call it is osteoarthritis curable yes so 
it's not that's why I'm saying that it depends on the severity so if you are looking at an osteoarthritis that is not so severe maybe let's say stage one stage two then you can there are certain things you can do that you will not have the pain in it again you know the pain is gone so you don't have any possible, symptoms it's, it's possible, possible it, it's, can it, go it, it can go away it, you can cure it then but then when it goes through let's say a, a severe stage three or four now it's so severe mm -hmm. there's nothing you can do about it okay so when it becomes severe there's nothing you can unless maybe by some magic or you do your new knee knee, knee replacement then yeah. you can be free okay yes okay. When you do the knee replacement, the problem is taken away. Yes, when you do the knee replacement, what you do is that the knee, the knee surfaces that is literally jet damage, is taken out and replaced by an artificial joint. So okay. the artificial joint is an artificial joint, so you don't feel the pain. Okay. Because you see, the reason why you feel the pain is that there are nerve endings Nerves, at the yeah. at the joint. So when those nerve endings and the nerve endings pick up the pain, the pain stimuli. So once you rub it. The nerve endings will send pain stimuli. So when the yeah, you feel the pain. When the artificial is put there, you don't feel like nerve endings. So you don't feel exactly, yeah. Tell us about osteoarthritis and diet. Yes. I so mean, is, is, is it possible yes. to, to get diet that will help out? Uh, exactly. Yeah. So you see, the body goes through wear and tear, number one. So therefore, the, the, the wear and tear needs to repair. So if you take balanced diets, food that helps your body to repair itself you know there are some foods that are good for the joint as well then the healing process sometimes can help so for example if you take things like food that contain vitamin d calcium you know and other nutrients that are good for the joint then that is that is okay so it helps with that's the diet that you have to take some people take supplements that's fine oh, okay. but you can also get foods that are rich in some of these minerals and vitamins yeah. that's number one number two also is that i mentioned obesity for example as one of the predisposing factors that can actually cause you to have let's say for example knee osteoarthritis so if you realize that you are overweight so therefore you are able to watch your diet and you reduce the weight if the weight is reduced it's most likely that it can also help to reduce the pain in your knee okay. in that case that means there's no what pressure yeah, on, sure, on your knee sure. so that those are the areas that diets actually uh, are play mm -hmm. yeah okay, so how does one prevent osteoarthritis yes yeah, so the prevention of osteoarthritis number one is to avoid all the risk factors maybe the only thing you cannot avoid is the age you know but avoid it so the risk factors, so avoid sedentary lifestyle, lifestyle. do a lot of exercise exercises are different type of exercise they are strengthening exercises they are flexibility exercises you know to the joint so all these exercises are very important that you have to engage if you are overweight watch your weights if you are not eating proper food or proper diet Eat properly. If you are smoking, don't smoke. Because smoking actually can actually also what you call it. Uh, one of the things that can actually uh, predispose to some of, of these things. As I said from the beginning, particularly about proper shoe. If you are not wearing a proper shoe, it's, and some people also don't have good posture. That's one thing I forgot to mention. They don't have good posture. If they stand, they stand either their stomach is in front, you know, and they are, you know they don't stand properly. So it's proper posture. How your body is aligned also would determine us whether you have some of these wear and and okay. so the kind of shoes that you wear your body alignment your what you call the exercises and sometimes also some people overdo the exercises yeah, if you and overdo cause them, problems, cause like problems for for your joints as well so those are avoid the risk factors those are the ways that you can actually be able to prevent osteoarthritis okay so as a wrap up what are, what recommendations would you give our viewers recommendations i would just as say as far as osteoarthritis yes, is so concerned as far as osteoarthritis is concerned is healthy lifestyle eat well sleep well and exercises let me uh, let me put an emphasis on the sleep because you see every day you go to wear and tear when you sleep that is the time that your body has to regenerate itself 
so if you are not having proper sleep your body is not able to regenerate itself not enough rest and also another thing as part of my wrap up is to make sure that we are doing one particular we stand a lot of time make sure that you sit for for so for for some time don't stand throughout the day for example if you are selling in the market you know, don't stand throughout in the day find a place to sit let give some rest to some to the joint as well. so healthy lives are eat properly sleep well and exercise well. can you switch over and wrap up okay so as a wrap up it helps them. okay um to wrap up also arthritis actually yeah down we will prevent number one yeah come out more adopt i've been there to our kitchen healthy lifestyle healthy lifestyle i'm going to that care can you help yeah yeah help Number one, exercise, very important. You know, exercise. What can I say? different type of exercise. I flexibility exercises. I strengthening exercise. All the exercises you can, but don't overdo the exercise. That's number one. Kaka yi overdo exercise. Number two, kachia binchi me kyo. I actually kachia binchi me, but I kachia binchi day waba. I want kachia binchi day is a more balanced diet. The AK, the all the more vitamins, the day body, body, body in car. Yeah, repair. Koda wana abu ya bata chicken jikin ka bin ya repair. Number three, kai kwan me kyo. Kasa mu kwana me kyo. Kasa mu kwana nga. Then are very important. Kasa mu kwana do me ya bin desa. In the sleep and a lot of stress body in repair in the kamata Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Samuel. If you just joined us, our discussion has been on osteoarthritis. And our guest today was Mr. Samuel, CEO, City Physiotherapy and Rehab Center. Cast. So we're all too soon. The time has come for us to end the program. And hopefully, we will come back with you for. Hopefully, we'll come back next week, same time, with the same program, different condition. Join us next week. Salam alaikum. Alex, salam alaikum.